Somewhere deep below the ocean waves lies the top secret headquarters of FI-5H. Reporting for duty is FI-5H's top agent. James Pond is licensed to gill. Above or below the waves, Pond's sharp shooting and lightning reflexes never let him down. No mission is impossible for Pond, but he'll have to be quick off the draw to defeat his arch-enemy, Dr. Maybe. Get ready! James Pond is back! You may be wondering why I chose an intro for a verse and I'm not even covering three words. I think it's cool. But there's something awesome about Christmas that everyone can enjoy. Eggnog, hot cocoa, cookies, TV specials, and of course, video games. For me, a certain fussy agent comes to mind whenever I think of Christmas. Yep, that's right, James Pond. Made by Chris Sorrell. If that name sounds familiar, that's because he's the same guy who also did that he originally debuting in a very, very poorly aged first game, we're gonna be covering the sequel where instead of being a parody of James Bond, it's now a parody of Robocop. Perfect material for Christmas. Can you vibe? Can you drive? Can you stretch up high? Can you- no, I'm out of here. The 90s were weird. James Pond arrives in the North Pole but is warned by the other penguins that Dr. Meady has kidnapped, sent, and held the other penguins hostage. He also turned some of them into monsters, so it's up to James Pond who stops Dr. Meady and save the day. From the PS1 version onwards, he saved elves instead of penguins. I wonder why they got replaced. <laughs> Originally, the UK version of the game was sponsored by Penguins, a chocolate bar I've never even heard of or tried before. But along with the penguins being replaced, these were swapped out for generic candy wrappers. So since this is a platformer, you can move left and right, you can jump, you can crouch into your armor, and you can stream. Yet, to your heart content, your health and life are represented by this James Pond in the bottom corner right. 
and the more health do you lose, the more miserable he looks, which is hilarious. <laughs> There's this certain slipperiness to James Pond that admittedly isn't easy to get used to, but once you perfect it, he can be very fun to control. Of course, Mr. Pond isn't without his power-ups, and no, that doesn't include the gun on the box art, unfortunately. Oh, a real gun. <laughs> I always wanted to try one. Victory Screech! So what you do have is an armor that allows you to be invincible for a brief period, an umbrella that can allow James to glide with a slow descent, and the wings, which allows the guppy to fly around. But we also have vehicles like car, the plane, and the bathtub. Oh, and it can fly too, apparently. I really don't like using the vehicles because of how slow and sluggish they are to control. There are very few boss battles, but the ones there are are sphinxly huge. Sometimes it can even be hard to reach their head to bop, bop, bop them up. At the same time though, they have very simple patterns. Like any other game, if you somehow die, you have continues. But if you no longer have any continues, the penguins decide to eat you. Okay then. One thing I forgot to mention is, each door has a set of levels, with boss doors sprinkled in far in between. But eventually we save Santa and give Doctor maybe his own medicine. Fuck you! I Even though it's not the best, there's still some fun to be had. Well, that wraps up 2022. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and I'll see you next year.